I don't know if the camera just picked that up, but... There's some wolves howling over here. I did cut one set of tracks yesterday. Older set, a couple days. It's a good sign. If there's that many wolves in here, I mean, there's got to be a bunch of elk up in here somewhere. Time to haul butt off here and get back to the truck. There's just tons of elk up through here. This cold weather is just wreaking havoc on my equipment. Everything that's plastic is breaking. Uh, hood lenses, hood covers, whatever. My speech is breaking. The hood's cracked. The base of my camera's cracked. Now the lens is rocking back and forth. Might have to put it in the bag, but I'm gonna walk out this, this trail here through this timber and up over this ridge. Just a buttload of elk through here, it's crazy. It's not getting warmer, I'm well, probably getting a little warmer. But um, hiking up this ridge, I just start, was starting to get hot and start to just barely starting to sweat, and I don't want to do that when it's as cold as it is. So, took the time to dig out my mic, and uh, I'm gonna change lenses. Go from my smaller, more wide angle lens to more of my hunt, hunt mode lens. But I'm gonna get moving before I start freezing again. So, I'm struggling in the snow, man. <laughs> last year, by this time, I mean, last year I hunted in the snow all year. Seemed like from September on, it was in the snow. This is now mid-November. It's like the 18th or 19th, something like that. Still getting my snow mode, snow mentality, but it's fun. It's been a cluster. I've never hunted elk outside of the rut before, and I've certainly never hunted them in so cold of weather. The last week or so in the West, we have been experiencing extremely cold temperatures, almost to an unbearable level for hunting. This part of the hunting unit is a migratory area. The wildlife transition through here on their way to their wintering range from the summer and fall hangouts. The elk seem to be on the move and so am I, mostly because if I stop moving, I'm likely to freeze in place. Water, but now it's all ice. But 
thought I might turn up some elk. Crap load of tracks, man. I mean, there's a bunch of elk up in here. I'm gonna scoot back around over here and uh, keep an eye back on all this stuff here. Poke over the backside of this a little bit and then kind of glass the Montana border. We designed the Solo Hunter Bino Harness to be ultra functional in the field, particularly for bow hunters. It needed to be low profile, compact, super quiet but durable, and have one handed operation. I think, for the most part, we nailed it. How can you not love playing in the snow? This time of year, it's rare that we take the opportunity to fully experience the wild. But a guy can't let the cold and uncomfort keep him from experiencing the winter rugged. Little buck just cruising across this flat. That's how it happened right there, though. <laughs> can happen anytime. Just cruising along and there's an animal right there. Well, I'm gonna keep on sneaking over. Even though this is the first day and I'm having a pretty damn good time, I'm also a realist. I know how difficult hunting this time of year can be, and finding a big bull is not going to be easy. So I'm not gonna let the opportunity to tag out on some good eats pass me by. I'm not going to look a gift cow in the mouth. Well, the sun's just getting ready to go down. I'm going to, uh, I've been watching these elk up here on this ridge all day. There's no bulls in the group. They're all feeding right along the ridge. So I'm going to sneak back down and see if I can't get on these cows right down here. Because if I can kill a cow right here, it'd be like, mile downhill pack, it'd be easy. So I'll sneak down here, see if I can get on them. If I can, great. Might shoot a cow. I've never shot a cow elk. Shot lots of bulls, but I've never killed a cow. Hmm, go figure. So if I can get on her, I might do it. We'll see. Just see how I feel at the time.
Keeping your rifle protected, clean, and dry while hunting is a big priority, but so is having the ability to get at it quickly when you need it. That's where the rifle cover comes into play. I have this thing on my rifle all the time. Until it's time to pull the trigger, this rifle cover is on my rifle. Probably a good thing that I missed her because the sun just went down. Temperatures are gonna drop and it's gonna start getting cold. So I've been hiking and moving pretty much all day. But now it's time to put the coat back on. Got a little bit of water to drink there. Water bottle froze on me. Garbage. That was fun. Should I reload the thing? Nah, I'm going back down the same way I came up. So I'll walk down here and make sure to check for blood and everything, but I watched these elk for 40 minutes after I shot, 30, 40 minutes. And they just kind of worked their way off. Definitely not hit, but I'll walk down there anyway. Check. Okay, so despite how I might look, I am a little disappointed that I missed that cow. But tomorrow is always another day. And maybe I'll get lucky and find myself a good bull. Well, I should have reloaded back there when I shot at that cow. Coming down, there's a bull right down here, working his way up the bottom, so I'm gonna get my muzzle loader reloaded. See if I can get down there, I'm kind of out of energy. But I'm gonna get it loaded as quick as I can. See if I can get down there and get on him. Him right here. I let my guard down. So coming down the hill, I'll put my camera on the bag because it started to get dark. And I thought there's no way in hell I'll ever see anything on the way out. Sure enough. For information on Solo Hunter rifle covers or our bino harness system, or to find us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, connect with us on our website at solohunter.com. Well, yesterday, I made a mistake that I rarely ever do. I dropped my guard. This morning, I watched what I think is the same bull from last night walk into the timber alone. And I think that I can make a play to get set up on him and make the kill. He's right over this backside. And, uh, so what I'm gonna do is shed some layers, get him laid out here in the sun. Take advantage of the sun while it's here because it's 
It's gonna be a long set and it's cold and I got pretty sweaty, so um, get some of this stuff dried up a little bit and uh, <clears throat> eat some lunch, rehydrate. I'm gonna range where I think he's gonna come out and I'm gonna pick myself a spot where I wanna get to at the right time. And then about an hour before dark, that's where I'm gonna get everything, get all my gear, and I'm gonna move into that position. And I'm gonna get everything all set up and just wait it out. Not having ever killed anything with a muzzleloader before, I'm a little bit upset with myself. Can I say that I gave this hunt my all? I don't think so. I know that I only had a few days to make it happen, but I kind of feel like I took the late season for granted. Hunting in the snow is supposed to be easy, but as I experienced this week in the cold temperatures, that's not always going to be the case. 